Kakalak is back in the national title picture after their heartbreaking loss to Villanova in last year's final. And if you thought a reporter wouldn't bring that up to the Tar Heels at the post-game press conference tonight, you'd be wrong. Take a listen. Um, maybe like the 50th time that we've kind of answered a question about that. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, at the end of the day, it's a different team. Um, it's a different, I guess, a different, uh, different year. Um, but, I mean, we, we got to go into it. Gonzaga is a totally different team than Villanova was. Um, and so we got to get, you know, whoever has the scout, we got to get used to the scout a little bit. Um, and then at the end of the day, it's just playing as hard as we possibly can when we get out there. Um, you know, I don't know how much we're going to really be thinking about, okay, we saw this last year, so maybe we can change it this year. Um, so I think it's just going out there and playing as hard as we possibly can. Kennedy, anything to add to that? Uh, I think you're always going to have that in the back of your mind um, because it was a heartbreaking um, experience for us. We came so far last year. Um, but it, like Justin said, this is a different team. We have different dynamics. We don't really rely on just one person to score the ball or two people to score the ball. And Bryce and Marcus, they did a tremendous job of leading us last year. Um, I think it's more of a collective effort um, where everybody has to do a tremendous job of doing the things we do best, which is running the ball up the court, rebounding, posting up inside. So, sound the alarm. Scotty, clearly the players are tired of talking about last year. But is it an overreaction to say that because of what happened last year to Villanova in the 2016 title game, it's going to affect them some way, shape, or form in 2017? I think they should be better prepared. I mean, Marcus Page, Bryce Johnson, yes, they were their two best players. Most plays were run around them, but mm -hmm. they went through their first national championship opportunity last year. These guys have something that Marcus and Bryce didn't have to lead the Tar Heels team last year. It was interesting. At first, when they said it's a different team, I was wondering if they're saying, yeah, it's Gonzaga versus they meant themselves. They meant themselves. We are a new team. I'm the leader. Put, put everything on my shoulders. I'm the man now, dog. I can handle this. I mean, it's not really necessarily a jab. He paused because he felt, oh, maybe people will take this the wrong way. Oh, but you I'm, have to. Those guys are gone. Right. They're Somebody not there. Step up. Right. Rick Pitino, Larry Bird's not walking through that door. Bryce no. Johnson's not walking through that door. you got to be the leader. And, you know, I, I, I don't know if I agree with uh, Justin. I think this team's very similar to Villanova. Wow. Gonzaga. Absolutely. They have, a, they have a lot of upperclassmen. They have a lot of size. They move without the ball. They don't dribble uh, in excess. I, I, think, I think there's a lot of similarities. So there. you think this could be deja vu all over I think again. Justin Jackson's the X factor. I think he, he's the guy you can't guard. I don't think that because the size is great on both sides, it's going to be uh, – Big it, bodies. It's going to be a, dinosaur be a lot. There. Yeah, they're going to be pounding each other. But who's going to guard that guy? He can guard anybody on the floor. Morgan struggled tonight. No doubt. 